it's a pretty surreal feeling really um yeah i've had a, a couple of days to kind of try to let it sink in and start to stop understand kind of what happened uh but it still feels kind of pr pretty unbelievable you know it's been it's been a, a dream of mine for so many years um i've been training for it for about 12 years now so to, to finally achieve that it just yeah, it really feels amazing <laughs> I think like like every athlete at the moment, um, COVID's been the biggest challenge um, in the run-up to the games. Um, so for me, being a combat sport, um, the sort of sparring partners have been the biggest challenge. So I've um, been lucky and we've been able to keep training um, in a sort of a small bubble. But the problem with that is uh, it's been basically me and um, Ollie and Dimitri, uh, who I competed in the team, just us, um, and um, one other guy, Shah, as sparring partners. So trying to get that variety and trying to get that sort of uh, different challenges. It's, it's been really difficult. So it's taken a lot of creativity and training and trying to find new ways to adapt. Um, so it's a certainly been a challenge and so long without competing yeah, it's pretty bizarre. So trying to prepare as best you can, it's, it's, it's been difficult. So um, I, I ended up fencing uh, so sometimes in competitions in the draws means, you know, defense different people in, in this game. So I ended up fencing uh, son who beat me in the um, last Paralympic final um, in the semi-final and then in um, the final in Tokyo was the guy who beat me in the previous world championships um, so yeah it was definitely um, the two top guys that I fenced and um, so yeah yeah it was a, a, a definitely a challenge to fence those guys and but the good thing is you know I had, I had good plans going into it I've been sort of analyzing as much as I could over the last few years and really preparing as best I could for these guys um, and yeah luckily I was able to put it off on the day and um, so yeah it really feels amazing <clears throat> with this games um, the, especially in the sport of fencing there's so much to work on um, so, so many different things and for, for every athlete in every sport you know it's, it's the same really and for this games um, uh, you know in this cycle these last five years have really been about how do I narrow down um, every finite detail work on every small thing I can um, whether that seems so far away from the sport, actually still relevant on the day. Um, so planning e everything in and out of my co competition time, um, uh, planning for every different scenario, um, tactically trying to really work on my creativity and variety of fencing. Um, so really whatever is thrown at me, I was prepared. Um, I think I'm a very different athlete now to I was in Rio. Um, and yeah, I just feel like I've got, a lot more consistent and professional um so if anything i think it's kind of focusing more on the external side of it rather than just the sport specific um yeah for me yeah i, I think yeah i really want to take a bit of time just to you know switch off relax and enjoy, enjoy the moment um but also uh yeah at the end of the year we have european championships um so actually i think it'd be quite a nice challenge to try and get World Championships, Paralympics, and Europeans um, uh, all in one time. So I think that would be the next challenge for me. <laughs>